Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Cubase 4 uh, to split up a drum loop and then uh, feed the samples into battery 3 to use it as a MIDI drum machine. So this is the loop we're going to be splitting up today. Uh, at the moment I haven't uh, matched the tempo so we'll just have a listen how it is at the moment. As you can see uh, here, the, at the moment I've got uh, just the first two bars of Cubase highlighted, and this is coming in a bit short, so I'm just going to put up the Cubase tempo a bit uh, to 170, and then now it should uh, fit in fine. And now, if we quantize to the beats and bars when we're splitting up in Cubase, it should give us the result we want. So, I'm going to start uh, splitting it up by going here to the uh, split tool, then making sure that snap uh, is on, uh, make sure we're using the grid and quantize, and we'll start by doing it to uh, sixteenths, because as you can see here there's um, beats, I'm going to split it into eighths here. And then here is where I need 16th because we've got all these uh, ghosting snares. Here again is an 8th and here again uh, 16th. This time it's a 4th and then 2 8 to finish off. That should be able to let us split up all the beats. So now what I need to do is turn each of these into an individual sample so that I can feed it into battery 3. So I'm going to do that by going to the bounce selection option. So if you do Alt A B then you can bounce your selection and I'm just going to replace place each of these samples with their bounced version so it just contains the the actual sample itself just then contains the audio that you here in that 8th uh, or 16th or quarter. Okay, now we're done, we, should, we have all our beats. Next thing is to put them into battery then. And uh, if you just do Control F, you will see that they have all been put into the pool now as uh, separate loops. So, so the first one, first one is just being called Jungle Loop. And the other pieces are here. Obviously, some of them are the same. We can sort that out uh, in a bit. So now I just need to add a VST instrument then of battery three. And here you can see I'm just starting with a blank kit. I get rid of the uh, transport bar by pressing F2. And then now if I go down to the uh, browser, I should find here all of the loops I want in the right place on my hard drive. And then I normally just add in a few rows here to make sure that they're lined up just with my keyboard. Just add in some lots of rows there. And then I just get them nicely across the top. So the first beat was actually, it's called the jungle loop here, so I'll add that one in first. And you can listen to them all in an auto preview mode here, which is pretty handy. But the rest of them then I'm just going to drag and drop in here, and you can see. So 
So the first bunch, the first bunch here are all the same at the moment. But I'll leave it there for now because it makes it easier to uh, reconstruct the original loop. Of course, if you want to build a different loop, you can uh, delete the copies already and just use the parts that you want. But uh, I'm going to go back now to uh, to here. MIDI straight away, but I need to just create just some MIDI here then. Just using the pen here. And then click on here, I can edit the MIDI directly uh, in place. Okay, so now all the sounds are in battery and in order. I can just draw in here the right lengths of notes. And then move them to the right position. Draw in the same length of the note as you can see uh, see above. Okay, and then now just move them up one one position each to get the next note. And if you play about the whole thing, uh, it should sound pretty much like the original. And then of course you can figure out which, uh, which parts you don't need, which ones are being repeated. So that's effectively the same, so you can move those down. those two basically sound the same as those so that's obviously different and slightly different sound to the other pretty similar to the first one and I lost the snare again slightly quieter. So now if you play this lock, and you jump back to battery by uh, clicking on this one here, and you should be able to see which notes are being used. So you can see that we're not using this four at all. You can get rid of them. using those two, in fact any of those four, so we can get rid of all of them, and now we're using that one, so then we're left with our drum bass kit. Well, thank you for listening to my uh, Battery 3 and Cubase uh, tutorial on making a beat from a loop, uh, and I wish you lots of fun. Bye.